good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you happen to be watching this out there in YouTube land. This is Vidya James, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up your Wii U to be able to access the Pretendo network so you can play Splatoon. So, before anything else, you're going to need to create, here's my stylus here so you can see that, you're going to need to create a new Nintendo Network ID. And some people will call it the PNID since it's the Pretendo Network. As your Nintendo Network ID, the one you were using for Splatoon up until last night, will not work. It is possible to transfer your save data with some homebrew stuff, but as stated in the, in the title, this is a non-homebrew version. You do not need homebrew in order to do this. Now, while you'll lose your data, because you'll be starting over, I mean, a whole bunch of people are going to be in the same boat as you. So you're, it's basically play, like getting into Splatoon all over again, and that that's a lot of fun, I'll be admit. You can see my stream last night for that. So, first thing you need... So, once you've made your Nintendo Network ID and you've got that verified and all that, you're going to need to go to system settings here. Unfortunately, the Wii U is not fast, so you're just going to have to deal with it. All right, go to internet. Connect to internet. All right, you're probably gonna have to hit X for connections. So, I already have two of these set up. This was the this was the this was the Wi-Fi without Pretendo. This is the Wi-Fi with Pretendo, and that's already set up. Now. Searching for Wi-Fi networks. So we're going to go ahead and set up a new connection on that one. So just for, we will take that out really quick. So, because mm, 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 you guys don't need to see that. So you're going to input your password. I should test the connection. As long as you got the password right, <laughs> that'd be kind of that'd be kind of awkward if you got my own password wrong. Gonna have to be patient. All right, connection test was successful. Set as the default connection. Set that as the default connection. So you're gonna go into connections, go to the one you just got, and do change settings. Now you're gonna open DNS settings here. Switch that to don't auto obtain. Now the primary DNS that's going to be eight eight dot one nine eight dot one four zero dot one five four. Okay. Now your secondary DNS. It is suggested that you either use uh, the Google Public DNS, which, which is what I'm using, which is going to be 8.8.8.8, because, you know, octolings. Or you can use 1.1.1.1, which is the Cloudflare DNS. You hit confirm. And then... Be saved. Perform a connection test. And the connection test was successful. Set that as your default. So let's go back. And then you'll just have to wait a moment. 
We'll let this go in real time so you can see how long it takes. Please wait. All right, so now we're back to the menu. At this point, it will probably ask you to log back if you want to try to plug, plug and play the game, but we'll go into Splatoon. This is the big game that everybody is playing nowadays. I've seen some artwork of, of uh, people drawing this apartment but empty and it's kind of sad to see. <laughs> but it's like, kid, you didn't need to move out. But we're also saying like, was this a murder mystery? It's like, <laughs> on a live mystery, kid left their gun, kept left the gun behind, kept left the laptop on, left the phone, door wide open, there's ink on the ground, like, bruh. <laughs> Just ran in, splatted somebody and left. Look at the TV. Well, incredibly, you'll still get your squid broadcasts. We, <laughs> we can't. We can't skip this. Good old salt spray. We can't skip and piranha pit. Right, let's do this real quick. So we can get to the get to the meat of this. We don't need to go into the lobby, but hey, <laughs> you can already see me versus posting. Hi there. Already a good sign. Then you go into the lobby here, and then there you go. Let's, let's see if we can actually get into a get into a lobby real quick. But if you've gotten this far, your connection's all. Yep. If you've gotten this far, your connection's already good. So that's all it takes for you to get your Wii U up and running on Pretendo to be able to play Splatoon. So it's eight minutes and eight seconds have passed. So we're gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully before the lobby fills up. So take care you all and happy splatting get on back on Splatoon 1 The fun has only just begun Take it easy y'all and we'll see you all in the next video